Last episode, after we cleared the dungeon and got the dragon chalice, Seras gets gaslit by, I think, the church people? I'm not sure exactly what. And then she gets hunted down and Toka has to save her. We're on the run right now and I think we're trying to, like, get to some destination for Seras. But it's also on the way of where Toka needs to get into, right? Let's begin today's reaction. Now, Seras. Uh-huh. Alright. <laughs> for disguise reasons i remember the cliffhanger was like what take off your clothes you got spare change is it not what all right the witch of taboo i'm like wait a minute i'm like my re-zero instinct is like witch of taboos Hold up, I know which of Envy! The fuck is which of Taboos? But, uh... Why don't you negotiate with her? Got it. Right. To make Piggy Maru stronger. Because, like, the divine... Sorry, the forbidden spells or arts... They're forbidden by the goddess because she fears them. So obviously, if we can use that to, you know, fight her, it's going to be useful. Good googly moogly. Which girl? Which girl? Which girl? That's not mom, is it? That's from Earth. This family picture. But mom was a piece of shit. Right? Yeah, the backstory was mom was an apathetic piece of shit. The auntie. The other person that treated him well, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Got it. Non-lethal poison. <laughs> What's the truth? The Holy Empire is the one that wants to kill her, right? Because if she, you know, a, a, allegiance to it, that must mean that it's the Holy Empire betrayed her. Oh, I think one of the two is showing up. Who is it? There is the strongest human alive or something and then there's also the hero slayer right red eyes what does it mean what is it what an audacious title, bro. Humanity's Strongest is his fucking title. I mean, all right, let's see how strong the humanity Strongest is. If we can just, like, sleep him, if we can just paralyze him, that's gonna be the dumbest shit ever. He cannot simply be defeated by just saying paralyzed. If that happens, genuinely, there is no point of hyping people up. Civet Gartland. <laughs> <laughs> Surrender me. What does that say? Hand them over to the king. Surrender to me, your nation's strongest. <laughs> basically, he just took over. So basically, Seras swore fealty towards, you know, the Holy Empire. The Holy Empire got overthrown by Civic Gartland, and now Gartland is the one that is after Seras, and that's why that's the truth, because we got betrayed by the people that we were fighting for. That seems pretty simple. Oh, there might be a twist. That's pretty much what's happening, though, right? Oh. Sealed his lip. You blew up his head. I'm like, hold up. He just countered Toka so he can't say paralyzed? <laughs> it was the other guy that was about to snitch. Ortola, another name. That's the king's name? Jesus! Jesus! Limp dick king, bro. No vigor. Every villain in this show, bro. 
Every villain in this show is just rapey, creepy. Basically, every SAO main antagonist, man. Like, it's like, why you gotta do this shit? Like, is this really the only way you know how to write a show to elicit this kind of emotions? Genuinely, I'm saying this right now. This might be a hot take, but I think that authors that needs to resort to this weird sexual fantasy of like doing, you know, fucked up thing to women to get that sort of emotion from the audience that you'll hate them is the laziest, most pathetic writing. Like you are basically admitting that your writing is so weak that you cling on to the lowest hanging fruit to get that emotional response. I truly believe that this is simply the work of degenerates that actually fantasize about this, and it is the most laziest form of creating a compelling antagonist. This shit ain't even compelling, bro. That's how I truly feel. You agree you don't agree with me? I guarantee you, you probably want to be this guy, you fucking creepy motherfucker. <laughs> The worst part is I don't even know if he's like sad that another man is defiling her because he wanted to defile her instead. That's the part I don't fucking understand. Because the way he's talking makes it sound like he wants to protect her from him, but I could also see like he wanted her. You feel this lip, bro? <laughs> Had he dodged, however, I would have left it. I wonder if he actually thought would he have done that or is he just saying that right now? That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, he couldn't have evaded it. He was paralyzed. <laughs> oh, sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is the vice captain, Schweitz. Okay. Just the most pointless, creepy dialogue. Nothing compelling about any of the villains. They're just bottom feeder trash, bro. Like, genuinely, all the failure frame villains are just, like, pointless. I think a story is compelling when you have a villain that you actually want to root for. Even if they're morally ambiguous, you see how they grew up and what kind of situations they had to experience and became like that. And even though what they're doing is so extreme, you could almost relate and empathize after acknowledging that what they're doing is evil. This motherfucker is just creepy. Every one of these dudes are just creepy. I should just drop this show genuinely. Like, <laughs> every, like the emperor wants the corpse. Undefiled, bro. They, they want the, the virginity of a fucking corpse. That's what's happening right now, bro. Like, just disgusting, uninspiring, like, just just devoid of anything compelling about what a good villain is supposed to be. It's, it's just creepy. Alright, the spirit regalia of Holy Neos Knight Captain is renowned. Who the fuck is this guy? Mitama. Can't even hear him. Oh, spirit regalia is her like special mode where the armor actually shows up, right? It's basically her system call enhanced armament. Define interested because the conversation we've been having so far has been very sexual careful paralyzed excited okay here goes toka what? What? This backfiring on us. That smile of confidence, which I thought was cool, was like, shit, it's fucking us up now. This yeah, you should point towards our Kirihara's group, bro. 
<laughs> Send him to our students, our classmates. Fuck them, dude. They're a bunch of S rank heroes there. Go take him out. Okay, they're allies. Yep. And it feels like that power source is somehow from the Demon Lord's essence because of the golden aura that shows up on like Kirihara, right? I love it just like thinking while he's like talking. I love it when there's like two separate subtitles going on. <laughs> and like when the main guy's talking and his voice gets like, you know, shadowed over the MC monologue, and we're not even fucking listening. That's interesting there, huh? To Catalia, the princess of Nea. Why would you do that to the princess? To traumatize her? Because they have close relations, maybe? <laughs> Wait, what? The princess of Nea that was just mentioned. The Holy Empire invaded them because of Seras? She wished for this to happen? Gaslit? I think we're being gaslit. <laughs> Bakus wiped out Nea because our goddess demanded they hand over their little paladin who is Seras, and the Holy Emperor refused because he wants her coochie even if it's just a corpse. Our goddess. But that's not Arion's goddess. Is this the same goddess? Is there only one goddess? I'm assuming there is only one goddess, but now he's saying our, it's making it sound like they have their own goddess, you know what I mean? っていう女神の要求を元聖王様が拒否ったからだって。当然の獣の子と競争されるよ、Yo, the hype is building up right now. Is it really gonna be like an epic fight today? I, I was. I didn't have my hopes up, but like right now, they're really setting the stage. Yoshi-sama,なぜこのような場所にいる? <laughs> No lies, just, you know, avoiding. <laughs> Apparently, I'm in an altogether different league than the rest. He is. He is. Now, whether it's like a top... Well, in the beginning, we were bottom-tier trash. But actually, we're super powerful now. We are in a different league, right? Everything we're saying, these aren't lies, right? We're just kind of avoiding and giving partial truths that aren't lies, right? Yeah. Yep, different league. But, like, I truly believe the goddess was intimidated by Toka Mimori's debuff skills and how these debuffs are supposed to be, like, so potentially dangerous towards the goddess herself, right? So, yes, I think she does know that we're special, that we're a special threat. <laughs> We're stalling? That's a good logic. If he just wants a good fight, then he would let us stall and just like level up more. So I guess fight will be avoided for a different time. We're just setting up a date now. At this point, I would say, but while you're waiting, if you're bored, there's a guy named Kirihara. Yo, he's super strong. He's like the strongest. You'd have a lot of fun. Go take him out.
Wait, 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 she did say this. Oh, wait, wait, this is an episode one shit. If they survive the ruins and reach the surface, we interfere no more. She did say that, right? So I'm, I hope she keeps her fucking word. I like Civet now. The creepy shit in the beginning is still fucking weird. But aside from that, this quality of having to just wanting like a great fight and giving us time to try and he's being very reasonable. Potentially we could even be allies, I'm not sure, but okay. Great introduction to this character so far if we just ignore the creepy shit. <laughs> I just want you to know that he is getting more turned on by Toka. He's, his heart's going more doki doki for Toka. Seras could never do that right now, bro. No, 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 we need her though. We need her though. It's a good excuse. <laughs> Sivit is actually so up his head, like, he is so high on the prospect of just a good fight. He's just like, yeah, fuck it. Go ahead. Yeah, take her too. I don't care. Yeah, do it. Okay. This is true. Don't you dare think that our dates, that he'll ghost me. No, 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 no. Grim Ritter. I wonder if that guy is a hero slayer. Because I'm still under the assumption that those are two separate entities when they introduced the two dragon riders. The hero slayer and humanity's strongest. I am actually surprised they're not like using CGI dragons here. Maybe when this once they go off into the distance, they take flight, it'll CGI, but like the dragons just being all 2D right now is pretty nice, even though there's little to no animation happening. Bye bye! Get! <laughs> That's a thick ass boy. He did. That was a great gamble. Boy! He got me. He always gets me. I, I. This is the second time he genuinely got me. At the Soul Eater, I was fooled. After that, I was kind of on point. I was like, nah, nah, nah. He fading. He fading. This time, I, I don't know. I thought he let him go. I. He got me again! <laughs> what if Paralyze doesn't work though? Right? This is such a huge gamble right now. What if Paralyze was not like actually effective and, and then what do we do? It's like, oh! I, uh, I'll see you on the date later! AOE Paralyze! It's working, it's working! <laughs> Let's go! Fuck, it's like... As much as I like shit on Failure Frame for its fucking animation, the character Toka and his personality is like... So refreshing as a main character who is willing to do things that most other pussy ass, you know, light-hearted isekai main characters would never do, you know? Like, I genuinely love the way he approaches everything, right? He does not fuck around. He is willing to do the morally corrupt, you know, decisions if it means to get his results. Like, I love it. It worked! Okay, everything landed! Everything landed! So I thought that maybe for the first time, these dudes, because they're supposedly so, like, high in status, finally, like, I don't know, the, like, the debuff wouldn't land. Why would the goddess lie? Maybe she didn't lie. That's still a confusion, right? She said that debuffs are fucking useless because there's such a low chance of it even hitting it, right? 
But like, uh, our skill I think is very unique, unless it never was and, you know, fucking the goddess is just gaslighting. But, 100% success rate. Every, every time, it's, it's never failed. <laughs> Man, imagine if Noor was here today from fucking I parry everything. Imagine if Noor was here with the poison fucking counter, bro. But unfortunately, it's not that show. Excuse me, what did you say? This is the second time I've seen someone force themselves to move up paralyzed. Yeah, like the soul leader, so... Really, really strong beings can, you know, they still get impacted by poison, but the paralysis kind of wears off a bit. Blair? Got it, got it, got it. Yo, what is this new Piggy Maru form? What's happening? That's that's Piggy Maru blue stuff, right? What happened? Uh, well, we got the mats, right? We had some sort of uh liquid ingredient that was required to make Piggy Maru stronger, but I thought it wasn't complete yet, and we needed to get more to get the Forbidden Arch or something to get Piggy Maru stronger. But it seems like we have like a new power. <laughs> Did we test it? I forgot about it. The dragons are 2D, right? Why would they use 2D on the dragons, but then the knight helmet guy here is CGI? Wonder what, like. I don't know, because like obviously I'm not a fucking animator. I, I would just, I just want to like understand the logic. Like, wouldn't you think that they would also do CGI on the dragon too? Like, w what would be their reasoning? I, I want is the dragon CGI? Can I not even tell? It just doesn't look as like bulky and like out of. Maybe you're right. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, this new slime hybrid state takes a lot of prep time to get into, and then a lot of MP, but we got a lot of mana. Let's go, Piggy Oh, I thought that these were like impaled people, but basically it's long range debuffs now too as well. Let's go, Inflict frozen freeze, darkness, darkness, rage, berserk. All right, we got some new debuffs. We got some new shit. おそらく暴力衝動を植え付けるスキル。魔技状態。スリープ解除。ダーク。オーバーは金のためにセラスを殺そうとして。芝居はセラスを部下の慰め物にし。Yo, this is so fucking raw right now. All these new skills. He's just experimenting on all these. I can't even call them poor because every one of them deserves this. Yeah, it doesn't bother me at all. 俺と同じで6で。but here's the thing, you don't have to write them to be creepy to make us feel like they deserve this shit. There's many different ways to do it. Obviously, we're going to be fine with it because obviously, you know, all the creepy shit they said was so fucking condemning, but <laughs> they're low lives. <laughs> Apparently, just like Toka. <laughs> what is this, this form is called, uh, what was it? Something XL? Yeah, no more date with uh, Civit though. Sad. Paralyze. I mean, he is humanity's greatest. Good. I am an Avenger! I love this shit. It's super regi. I know, but like, I, I totally enjoy a main character that says, I'm not a hero. I'm not a good person. 
I'm here to do what I want and get the fucking revenge against that goddess. Totally down. I don't need some kind of morally correct white knight trying to like do everything good. Nah, 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 nah. I'm here for entertainment. And this is gonna be very entertaining. Night, night. Yeah, he's dead, I guess. Are we humanity's greatest now? If we just killed the humanity's strongest, then are we humanity's strongest? How does that work? I know it's a title. It's a bullshit title, but like... And it also wasn't really a fair fight, but it doesn't need to be a fair fight. Who said it needs to be 1v1? It's all just a battle. It's war, right? Whoever fucking survives at the end, so... Eh, I don't know. Also, we're immigrants here. So maybe we don't count. We're the strongest immigrant. Psycho no immigrant, bro. Yeah, let's go. Sorry, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hero Slayer. Okay, okay, remember, second component, right? Second person. It was a separate entity. So, Hero Slayer that was hyped up along with Humanity Strongest. Got it. Was it? Oh. No. When? 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 Uh, when? Who? Did, when did this happen? Last episode? Was that last episode? I, I genuinely don't remember. I don't. Fuck. Was he off screen or did I just forget? Shh. Off screen? Hero Slayer off screen. Alright, we got the Hero Slayer off screen. The Humanity Strongest also just got. Just done with. Damn. We, 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 we're fucking rushing this shit, huh? Who's, who's gonna be competing with us now? I don't know. He, he, humanity Strong is... He, he hasn't mentioned another guy that's not here yet. And I was assuming that could have been the Hero Slayer. But alright, bye bye. Oh, the other students. Title, S-Class Hero, Ayaka Sogo. That's us, right? That, that rom-com girl. And she's supposed to rally up the other, quote-unquote, mediocre trash people. I still haven't awakened the unique skill. Okay, that's actually good, right? Because that, that means that she's, like, she, she's already pretty strong, it seems like. But, like, her special thing will be awakened at a very important time. So we'll wait for that. Nyantan. Kiki Pat, follower of Vish. God damn it. Send the goddess aside. Of course she is. What kind of top is. What the fuck kind of design is this? Very. Not symmetrical, huh? Is that some sort of. What is that, a dragon tail? What's going on here? Nyantan. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Fuck him up, dude. Probably. The god is talking shit? Yes! I'm not sure what happened there. Did she, did she punch him out? I don't know, but hey, he's down! Trash. Trash. The next stage. Nian Tan, huh? Nian Tan. Her name is hilarious because it sounds like a cat. She's got cat ears and Tan is like cringe otaku nicknaming thing, all right? Like how Emilia Tan from ReZero. So her name is literally a meme. It's like cat girl Nian Tan, huh? Goddamn. What a design. What a design, bro. Okay, so no, no, sorry, sorry, it's the same one. It's the same. It's still vicious. I, I was like, you know, goddess of Bokbaka as well. Is there different goddesses? Probably. 
どうか復讐のためにお役立てください。She always looks so funny there. Looks like a humpback. いや、義を重んじるはあんたの正しさはないと思うぜ。い,いえ、その王に報いたいのです。あなたにとって正しければ、私はどんな扱いを受けてもほありがとうございます。セラスアシュレインの力。悪いな、セラス。恩義には俺もいずれ報いるつもりでいる。借りは返す。愛しても。Hmm. With the repeat of the favor, huh? しし<笑>やはりあなたに勇者の面倒を見て。あなたは強いですし、聡明ですし、何より忠誠心。We can n o We can n o r o s h i t h a t a Episode 1 moment? What's going on? Does, does Nian Tan lick it up? Does Nian Tan slurp up? Yan Tan? Hi. Arara, do you know this? Okay, got to my day. Let me talk. This fucking show. Again, whenever the goddesses show up, listen, I hate her. I hate her. She's evil. But whenever the goddess has screen time, it's usually the best moments of the episode. <laughs> の忠誠の証をありがとうございます<笑> I'm not sure if I can just crop my face here and like put my face here with the goddess in frame it's gonna probably look weird because of the hair but uh, I'll figure out something ぶつかる日は意外と The Great Demon Empire, huh? Hold up, hold up, hold up. The days the hero clash with the forces of the Great Demon Empire. So, okay, okay, we'll keep that in mind. That's the next phase, maybe. And that's today's episode of Failure Framing. Goddamn, bro. This is probably one of the best episodes, huh? Probably one of the best episodes. Not just because of the gripper scene here, not just the gripper scene, but, you know. Okay, it was the gripper scene. <laughs> What fucking happened? The villains are creepy as usual. But Sivit, the whole、uh, respect that he was showing to Tuka and saying, like, you know what?、Oh, yeah, let's go on a date later. That was nice. And I truly got baited. I genuinely did not even think, even imagined, that Tuka would just, like, say, psych and would do this shit. Like, I thought that we were gonna set up a date later. But I'm like, oh shit. He's not like your regular Isekai MC. He's willing to, you know, play that act just like with the Soul Leader mode. You fucking got me again. He's too goddamn good. Again, I totally love characters that's willing to do, you know, make the cold, the dark decisions that normal white knight cucks can't do. But fantastic episode here. Nian Tan is a very interesting new character. I'm not sure if she enjoyed licking, you know, the goddess's grippers there based on her hesitance in the beginning, but hey. She's there and、uh, she's gonna get the kids onto the next stage, and there is a clash against the Great Demon Empire happening. But we're also going to the forest where the monster's eyes are gold due to the Demon Lord's essence to farm them. And wouldn't it be hilarious if the Demon Empire army is the monsters that we're gonna be farming because they have golden eyes? And basically, Tuka is gonna be going there and farm the Demon Lord Empire's army without even knowing that they are Demon Lord Empire, just off the connection of the Golden Eye. I mean, that could be fucking hilarious, but that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.